Well, I think like the others, I would say that it has been um, very successful. Although, of course, for the last few years, because of COVID-19, um, there have been there has been a slowing down of projects. But hopefully, that will be uh, increasing again. But I think one thing that others have not yet mentioned is that there are 52 African countries that have actually signed MOUs on the Belt and Road Initiative. Um, and so the sort of pace of interest in Belt and Road Initiative has increased over time. Um, we had initially East African countries, Kenya, Ethiopia, um, and then eventually West African countries and others really starting to um, show interest in the Belt and Road Initiative and especially the infrastructure aspects of it. And this is what has been most attractive to African countries because it has been very, very difficult, uh, as your previous uh, commentator was mentioning, it has been very difficult to extract infrastructure financing, especially infrastructure financing, which should effectively go across the continent. So between different countries, not just one country, um, and also, for example, in the railway uh, infrastructure, this is just something that the international financial institutions do not necessarily uh, provide finance for enough. And so African countries have found it very useful to have a development partner that is willing to finance these kinds of connectivity projects. And the aspiration, whether it's uh, Tanzania's president, whether it's the Eritrean president uh, coming over to Beijing, they have yeah. all expressed continued interest in the Belt and Road Initiative going forward.